Hey, Couture Base, it's your girl Brit Brat going live with the Breeze Talk and child. We talking about Leonard's messy behind. Baby, I don't know if this is his exit strategy from the Breakfast Club or what, but Leonard dropped a interview that is shaking the table and it's starring Gucci. Goo wop. Baby, it was good. But before we get into the mess, let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. I have to say it one more time. Opinion are not facts. Now, before we get into the mess, I would like to take this time to shout out our pay for sponsors, Amazon. By shopping using the link I have in the description bar, you can get 30 days free of Amazon Prime access. Who doesn't like Amazon Prime? Next day shipping and free. Now baby, watch some commercials y'all. <laughs> Your girl is now a paid for YouTube partner. Congratulations to me. Tell me down below in the comments, what commercial do you see? Now let's get into the mess. Hey, you're not in the studio. But for the record, he's not bad. I don't even know where that came from. It came from that punk ass bitch, man. And DJ Envy, he's a pussy too. Envy did it too? Envy's pussy, man. Pussy. He was scared, to, wasn't even scared to come. You know he's scared. Where he at? I didn't know he was supposed to be here. He wasn't gonna come. He wasn't gonna come because the day they did that people's court thing and you wasn't there, mm -hmm. he was there. Him and uh, the girl, whatever. So he ain't had the nuts to come after he did that. I knew, it. I wasn't gonna confront him too. I was say, hey man, you know, you got something to say to me? I just wanna see what he was gonna say. Cause he seemed like he had something he wanted to say to him. I don't think it's an issue. So I'm gonna give him his, you know, I'm gonna give him his face to face. Because mm -hmm. I ain't no man, him had no issue. But I do got an issue with him too. I got an issue with him now. I'm gonna step to him, you know what I'm saying? Just like he stepped through the people were talking about his wife when they came up there. Yeah. He confronted them. So I'm gonna confront him about what him and Angela did. And if he come at me wrong, I'm gonna slap, slap the shit out of him. It's just on him. It ain't gonna be his first time getting slapped. What about um what about Walker Flock and OJ the Juice Man? You know, OJ still my OJ still my guy. Me and Walker, we talked. We got past our differences. We had a conversation. So that was that was uh that was big of us. What about when uh when you went on the Twitter rant and the, the women you were getting there, like Nikki and I apologize to Nikki and she accepted my apology. We got past that. Right. That's I mean, that's bigger than you to be able to do that. Hopefully you can do that with Envy and Angela one day too. All of y'all can just get on one good accord. Man, listen, after they disrespect me the other day and played that interview by my wife, fuck that. That's Angela, you and Envy, you just pussy. I'ma see him. I'ma see him, he gonna understand what he did. He better bring that dog he be talking about. All the time, you don't push that out. Talk about a motherfucking dog. You better bring that motherfucking punk ass dog. I'm gonna get y'all on the phone together. Nah, I ain't got nothing to say. I'm gonna say him, him face to face. This pussy ass gonna, he couldn't listen. He ain't even had the nuts. This pussy ass gonna, he couldn't listen. He ain't even had the nuts, man. You got kids, man. You put out the nuts to stand next to the man that you said the shit about, man. He pussy, man. What, what did he Straight say? I didn't, I didn't hear the whole conversation. Go back and listen to it. You can run, but you can't hide. That's the old. So after hearing all this good tea and y'all can go check out the rest on Charlemagne's YouTube channel. I will not. I'm just going off these clips alone. Y'all know I don't mess with Leonard, but DJ Envy has responded. And so has Angela Yee in the form of her alleged boyfriend plus. Now let's get into the mess. So this is DJ Envy's Instagram page. Remember we go to be messy and not to send hate and it reads <clears throat> me and my dog well at Charlemagne the God gave me a heads up when this interview was done and I told him play it. This isn't the first time I've been threatened by an artist and probably won't be the last time. I've never been slapped or snuffed or jumped before. So not sure where that came from, but funny by all means at LaFair 1017 was never banned from the breakfast club. When asked, would I do an interview without ye? My reply was, I will not do anything unless you clear it with my coworker. We call that writing for your team where I'm from. Too bad. Leonard didn't do the same and he's upset because my co-worker defended herself never in a million years will I tell my co-host what to say or what not to say we share that platform when Gucci did that post about Yee she defended herself on the breakfast club and he's mad because I let her do it 
I have never ran from a conversation in my life. My kids are good, my wife is great, and my dog is excellent. Anyway, I heard some lies and wanted to address it. Back to enjoying Paris. Nah, bruh, you need to be scared, DJ Envy, because I heard about you in the streets. So Plies put up this post, and we're going to look at it on Instagram to be messy, not to be hateful. People often ask why I admire you so much. You make it hard to root against you. Your independency, relentless work ethic, and ability to maneuver through a male-dominant industry without sacrificing your dignity, class, and integrity is remarkable to say the least. Now I know this nigga didn't write this. You come from humble beginnings, and through hard work and dedication, you have stacked your portfolio to unmeasurable heights, and your entrepreneurship is second to none. You are pursuing your dreams at a time where women tear down each other at enormous rates and men clout chasing at an all-time high. Next time at Gucci Boy, you're the only person in the industry that I've never told no. Your dopeness shines bright and God got his hands on you. Continue to set the bar high and not waver from your principles. I'm honored to join you in Houston, Texas on Tuesday, November 5th. Are y'all going? On your lip service tour, I will not be attending. Have my liquor ready. Houston, get your tickets now. It's up there. Oh yeah, and we never change. Because if if you don't, ain't coming to Houston child that's my louisiana education kicking in because i know this nigga didn't write this one and two first of all angela yee is one of the shadiest people of all like when has she uplifted and empowered women y'all kill me she has dragged women to the point where keisha cole cussed her out k michelle cussed her out Nicki minaj cussed her out and so forth and so forth angela she gave him some puss and then said let me get let me see your phone I know what this trick and move is. You not fooling me. Child, I don't believe none of it. But either way it goes, it is messy. And because they messy, I'm messy too. I have found the clip of why Gucci Man was mad. And they deserve it. Look, anybody saying anything against Gucci, child, your man don't stick up for you. Slap him in his face, Gucci. He deserve it for disrespecting your woman. And then tell Keisha to knock Angela right in her eye. I don't promote violence, but at the end of the day, he was willing to knock them two dudes' teeth down their throat for saying that his wife would stay only because he has money now. After all that cheating, he was doing with Erica Mena. And that's not allegedly. She put that in the book. Now let's get into the mess. Okay, now, I seen the Jasmine brand posted something last night about uh, the real reason that allegedly that he's mad at you. Now, what is that from? What does that stem from? Um, so allegedly, according to the Jasmine brand, a source told them that Gucci Mane has an issue with me because of an interview that we did with Yo Gotti. And they posted the interview. Let's play a clip of that. You banged your partner's girl. Damn, Gotti. <laughs> you ain't my friend, man. But that was your, but that was your girlfriend, though, right? Wasn't that like Gotti said, Emmy, my partner. Oh, I, I didn't know, know that. that was your wife. I ain't know that. Mm -hmm. but I ain't know, like, you know, like, you in love and all that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Come on, man. You yeah. know how the game go. Mm -hmm. Shorty the one told me she used to mess with home. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't know that. Oh, she told you, but it was too late. You wasn't ready. I ain't gonna say it was too late, but I mean, like, yeah, I guess it was too late, but <laughs> she told me, she like, you know, I just talked to sis, I am like, yeah, they're my partner. But did that deter you? Like, oh, well, that's my partner, so I can't, you know. No, I made sure she knew that was my partner. All right, wow, okay. All right, there's well, more, right? Five, there's more? Yeah, here's some more from the interview with Yo Gotti that I guess has Gucci Mane upset to this day. And I guess he felt some vendetta toward me. Oh, what about man. the last tweet that he sent out when he was just acting all crazy on Twitter and all of that and he called you out again? I was just, from that point on, like, I was just laughing at home, though, because, like, what I knew, to me, on that day, I think the world seen what I had already knew. Wow, I guess Angela Lee has all her receipts. <laughs> Let's go to the phone lines. Ooh, is this not messy? Oh, my God. Here's my final thoughts and opinions on this. Leonard is as messy as they come. He is the ultimate shock jock. He knows what he's doing. I feel like he is separating himself slowly and surely from the Breakfast Club because he has his own YouTube channel. He's no longer always up there. I mean, after his HBO deal fell through the cracks, he's been doing his own thing. Not like they haven't either, but they're not popping. 
I mean, it is what it is. The Breakfast Club hasn't been good since God knows when because they're biased. And after that whole, never mind, that's a whole nother tangent. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Comment down below and I got to go. Bye, host.